Hi guys, so today we are here to see DDL statements in SQL. So normally uh, uh, we know that uh, to create a table, update the table, alter the table. But this uh, a key, uh, what we are using type, that keyword that is belong to which one. So that we going to discuss today. So in SQL commonly uh, they grouped into uh, uh, like a DD E DDL, uh, DB, DML, uh, like TCL kind of things. Uh, so I will uh, tell you everything in a deep. Like uh, this command is belong to which one, and uh, this is belong to which one. So you just keep watching this, and uh, you keep in mind. So it commonly helps for your uh, interview purpose. Normally they will ask, uh, what is a DDL uh, in SQL? You can tell that this is what the DDL, and this is uh, these are all the things in the DDL currently in SQL you can tell this so normally what is a DDL it is a full abbreviation uh, data definition language these are the statement that you use to define the database structure or the schema so normally if you want to create a database or create the table so you will use right uh, like a create alter uh, drop uh, so truncate everything so uh, this is what the steps uh, belong to the data definition so this is the initial data create to create an object alter is to alter that structure of the database and uh, this is to drop the delete the object so for the that is why drop we are using and truncate is just to remove all the records from the table including the all the spaces allocated in the records everything it you can it will truncate everything so complete records and the spaces so everything it will remove and command add a command to the data uh, dictionary and uh, rename the object so that is what uh, this all the stuffs are belong to the ddl so uh, here if you come here so normally uh, uh, you can uh, uh, see if you see uh, you can see all the stuff over here so this is why because I just uh, installed the SQL complete so I just if I type yeah I, I will get all the manipulated stuff over here okay fine no issues so uh, so uh, here I'll just uh, planning to uh, uh, do some operations like uh, I planning to create on a database create database new db fine so i'll execute in a master so it's got executed so i just uh, refresh so you can able to see the new database so this is the way you can uh, do the create a database and uh, you can go and uh, create the word tables and you can go ahead and uh, do the alter alter helps us to mm, suppose so alter helps us to change the structure of the database so I create on a table inside if suppose I am creating on table and then uh, that table I'm just uh, trying to alter the table so that is what all about that so drop is simple I just want to drop the database so use the drop database so you again refresh so you won't see any database so that is what our next level is truncate the table so you create on table so uh, maybe I have one table here yes product table so here I have a few records so I try uh, I just use it uh, used uh, like trun truncate table just to mention the table execute okay you don't have no records so this all the stuff uh, is uh, belong to the data definition language I don't want to explain this because already a lot of uh, tutorial that I just uh, put and explain you all the stuff so you just go through my previous tutorial so today we are just going and seeing definition okay we will understand that okay this is all the things belong to the data definition language so just go through this uh, okay and just uh, study from 
uh, website I shared the link uh, to a uh, go freelancer tutorials so you can go through uh, here around if you not uh, know uh, before so it will be helpful to make uh, your knowledge a little bit sharp in the dot net as well as SQL so thanks for watching the video guys hope you understand the video if you have any doubt please comment us if you like my video like it if you not unlike it no issue you have both the buttons even uh, you can subscribe to get a more updates like this